Hey cleaning family, it's Carolyn Arellano, your cleaning business mentor. And in today's YouTube video, we are going to talk about residential cleaning for beginners. So that is residential cleaning 101. Be sure to stick around for the entire video. Hey cleaning family, we are back with another video on residential cleaning. Now, if you've never professionally cleaned a home, you do not have to worry about it. I am here to guide you on how to clean a home professionally. Now, even if you've cleaned your own home multiple times and you feel as though you are a fantastic cleaner, let me tell you in all reality, there is a lot that you don't know about house cleaning. Now, before I did my very first house cleaning, I consumed a ton of books, watched so many YouTube videos, videos, listened to podcasts, and even tried some techniques in my own home and my family's home. And even still, I learned through trial and error, through making mistakes, by learning how to be more efficient. So I'm going to share some tips with you guys. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say that Having practice and hands-on experience is very important. I would never tell you to go ahead and go clean a home professionally without actually practicing. Now, you can reach out to friends. You can reach out to family members. You can even practice in your own home, but I always find that it's more beneficial in somebody else's home because you're really going to try to do your absolute very best. Now, once you found somebody's home to practice in or maybe multiple homes, and you can do this for free, but if you feel like, you know, you do want to get paid a little bit of money, you know, maybe it's a big job, maybe you know, in fact, that you are pretty good at cleaning, then go ahead and, you know, charge a very low rate to your friend or a customer. But remember that at the end of the day, you are doing this for practice. However, I also understand that some of us are hard on cash. So, you know, maybe give them some really, really, really discounted rate for them to, for, to incentivize them to allow you to practice in their home. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about is cleaning tools and products. Now, I do have a full video on all of the tools and the products that I use for cleaning homes and that you can find on my YouTube channel, but I will give a very quick rundown. I will also link my Amazon storefront for you guys in the description of this video so you can go ahead and order those products. Now, you will need a couple of products, and as you go, you're gonna learn what you really like and what you don't like. So I'm gonna give you my preferences. Now, I buy my products based on how well they do, right? How well they perform, if they help my team be efficient or not, and of course, pricing. But those are the three factors that kind of go into whether I wanna spend X amount of money on this specific product and whether I need it. I like to be efficient. I like to have my team not put as much elbow grease in. So I do use some products or chemicals that are not eco-friendly. And I do wanna just talk about that very quickly. If you are gonna use eco-friendly products, that's awesome, that is amazing. Um, and that's great. However, you will have to put more elbow grease into it. So make sure that you charge accordingly if your customer asks for eco-friendly products. And I don't know why I just did that because you are going to use eco-friendly products, but it's going to be more difficult for you to get these messes up. And again, that's just based on my own experience of dealing with eco-friendly products. But what you're going to need is, you know, a high duster. You will need some microfiber rags, some paper towel. I always like to bring Dawn dish detergent because uh, it works on everything. Some bathroom cleaner, some glass cleaner, uh, you know, a vacuum, microfiber mop, um, and of course, of course, PPE. So gloves, shoe covers, a mask if you feel as though you should be wearing one. Uh, and so on. And all of these things you can find on my Amazon storefront that I'm going to link in the description of this video. But you're going to learn that certain products work better than others, or maybe pricing is an issue for you. So I don't knock, you know, anybody's choice on products or tools. We are all different as human beings, right? Maybe I could possibly have a bad back and I can't bend over to scrub something. So I might use a longer pole on something or maybe I can't afford spray way at $4 a bottle. So I'm going to use the dollar store Windex at, the, at that given point uh, in my business. So whatever it is that you feel is your personal preference, you can use. Um, the stuff that I list on my Amazon storefront is just based on my own experience. So 
those are kind of like the main products that you're going to need to clean a home. So you want to make sure to go there fully prepared. And again, I have that full length video for you guys and you don't need every single item on there. You can, you know, kind of work with certain products. Um, so definitely get you some cleaning supplies and make sure you have a vacuum and everything that you need. Now, the next topic is of course the techniques of cleaning. Now, when I was cleaning my own home, I kind of would just like pick an area, clean it up, or maybe even like get manic and start to clean everything. Um, like, you know, start hanging up all my jeans and then scrubbing the toilet. And now I'm in the front living room, you know, or taking the trash out in the kitchen. And that is not going to work in professional cleaning because time is money, you guys. And I have videos on how to price and how I price on my channel if you want to go take a look at those. But essentially time is money for every hour that you're somewhere, you know, you should be getting paid and you want to make sure that you are cleaning efficiently and effectively. So the techniques that I've learned over the years are three things. Actually, the first thing I want to talk about is how you clean a home, right? Meaning like when you enter the home. So when you enter the home, you want to clean from the furthest point of the front door. Okay. The reason being is because you want to clean your way out of the home. We clean room by room, top to bottom, and we're done and we close the door and nobody is to walk in that room again. So think of it like a Tetris game. So like if this is the entrance of the home and there's like a kitchen, a living room, bedroom, two bathrooms, you know, you could start at the two ends in the bathrooms or the bedrooms, work your way and come back and clean out of the door, okay? So think of like the Tetris game a little bit. That's what I always compare it to, but there's probably something better that I can think of than Tetris. But you wanna clean your way out of the home. Now, if there's two floors, we always start on the second floor, we go up the steps, again, furthest point from the steps, start in those back rooms, clean, close the doors, close the doors, do that hallway, clean the steps coming down. And now we're on the first floor. Again, we go all the way to the back of the house, clean everything up into the front door. That way we are mopping our way out of the home. If there is a basement, then you can choose to do the second floor or the basement first. It's really, you know, it doesn't really make a difference too much as long as you finish that middle or first floor last, because that's usually where most people are hanging out and that's where the exit is from, right? You're not gonna leave out of the basement. Um, so again, if it's three floors, you know, we usually do second floor, basement, middle of the floor, clean our way out. Now, when it comes to actually cleaning each room, okay, I'm going to give you a list of items that we clean in each room. But if you want my free cleaning checklist, please use the link in the description of this video to get those checklists sent to you. Uh, the checklist that I have created and how I'm going to, you know, express what we do in each room is actually in order of cleaning. So it's a checklist and it doubles as a cleaning checklist uh, for yourself and your technicians if you want to be efficient in cleaning. What I've learned from cleaning and from reading books and listening and watching videos is that you should always clean from top to bottom and left to right. So if the door is behind me in a room, right, I'm gonna clean from this side of the room we're gonna do a full circle and exit this way. So left to right, oops, sorry, and top to bottom. Now, the reason why you wanna to clean top to bottom is because of gravity, right? So here's an example. You clean the entire bedroom, you vacuum, you mop, you wipe everything down, and now you have to dust the fan above because you forgot. Well, all of that dust is going to fall on your freshly cleaned surfaces, right? And now you're doing double the work, okay? So this is very important. You wanna make sure to do the high dusting first, to do the fans first. Then you're gonna come down, you're gonna do the windows. Then you're gonna do the surfaces of the furniture if there's furniture in the room. Then you're gonna do the baseboards, then you're gonna do the floors, and then you're finished, okay? So top to bottom, left to right. Now, we ask that our clients have the home picked up prior to us coming um, because we don't really want to get into organizing and figuring out where your stuff belongs. We're there to clean. So we don't really do too much um, organizing. But if you happen to go into a client's home where you have to pick up these toys, there's clothes everywhere, and maybe this is what you know part of what you provide, or maybe you just show up and it's something that you have to do because the client didn't specify that. Well, first, what you want to do is, again, left to right, and you want to do this in waves. So first you would organize, and then you would clean, right? Again, we just do the cleaning, and again, we do the fans, the windows, the surfaces, 
the baseboards, the floors, and of course the garbage before we do the floors. So those are what we include in like the bedrooms, the hallways, um, and the common areas. If you guys are interested in learning how to scale your cleaning business or start a cleaning business to multi six figures, please be sure to check out the link for the ultimate cleaning business bundle below. This bundle is made up of my top six digital products, all for the price of one. In the kitchen, we include uh, the high dusting. Um, we do not include the cabinet fronts, but you can as an extra. Uh, we do the backsplash, all the counters, the floors, um, of course, the exterior of everything. And if they want to add on the inside of the oven or the fridge, then they can add those on. In the bathrooms, again, high dusting, windows, of course, bathroom, tub, tiles, shower head. You know, um, we also do the sink last and that's because we take all of the stuff out of the shower to put into the sink then we'll do the toilet then we'll finish off the bathtub because we usually let that sit um and then we will do the sink area you know vacuum them off the floors and then we're out of there again if you guys want a checklist the free checklist that are editable or maybe they're just downloadable actually you can go ahead and click the link in the description of this video but that's what we include in the bathrooms um, I also do have another full length video of me doing a deep cleaning in a home. If you guys want to check that out, you can see the tools that I mentioned. Um, but really you have to think of cleaning a home uh, in a tactical way. Like, okay, let's get in here and do this the right way. We're going to start from the furthest point. We're going to clean from top to bottom because we don't want to clean twice, right? We don't want to be crisscrossing over each other, walking over clean floors, um, or anything like that. I will say this, if you do have to do an oven, um, if that's an add-on or included in your cleaning, when you walk in the house, regardless of where the kitchen is, spray the oven first because that oven cleaner is gonna take at least 45 minutes to an hour, if not more, sometimes depending on the dirt level to break down that grease in the oven. So always do that first, regardless if the um, kitchen is in a different part of the home doing these types of or having these types of systems are really going to help you right you know stuff like also plugging up the vacuum and the right plug of the room that might seem like something that's silly or something that you're not you know really thinking of but you would want to make sure to plug that vacuum where you're going to be walking out of the room from right so for example if you're in a square room and let's say the door is behind me I'm not going to plug, if I have an option, I'm not going to plug into a plug where it's really far from the door because I'm going to walk or vacuum my way out of the room, right? So just kind of being, uh, again, tactical with where you're putting even your cleaning bag, you know, making sure that you have that bag with you in every room that you're in versus leaving it in the hallway and constantly walking back and forth to grab products. Another thing is if you're cleaning with a team, everyone should have their own bag of products. Let's not cheap out, guys. There is no reason for Susie to be grabbing Sally's glass cleaner, you know, and then they both need it. It's just, it's all about saving time and being efficient. Um, talking about efficiency, we use HEPA vac packs. Again, you can find those on my Amazon storefront. I understand that they are expensive, the pro team. However, they are a great investment. Um, you know, we did cl clean a couple of homes with a dustpan and a broom not the same i don't have a broom at home or do i i might have one for like small accidents but i actually have my own hepa vacuum in my house it's a three quart because that's how much i love these vacuums they're super versatile you can use them in homes commercial cars i mean just about anywhere uh, post construction jobs so if you can invest into hepa vacuums the backpack ones i highly suggest that i know a lot of you like those stand-up vacuums and again it's all about preference however i think in terms of production rate and i know that i can clean more surface of a floor with a hepa backpack vacuum versus a stand-up vacuum and that is a fact you guys can go ahead and look in the issa clean times book to see you know those types of clean times but we use the hepa vacuums again we use the the rags on everything but the toilets 
and the glass because we don't like the little microfiber hairs getting left behind. And you'll learn different tips and tricks that work better for you. Again, I understand that not everybody likes to clean like me or likes to use the products that I've listed. You know, I don't like any of the powder products because I don't like inhaling that stuff. But at the same time, I'm kind of like contradicting myself because I still use Easy Off, right? But I use the Easy Off because I just know that I don't want to spend two hours in an oven. You're going to have to do a lot of trial and error. You guys can check out the list of cleaning supplies that I have and tools and also check out the other videos of myself actually doing the cleanings and going shopping for these products. Uh, something that I will say though as I wrap this video up is that do not skimp out on the PPE. So the gloves and the shoe covers. You guys can buy gloves at the dollar store. Shoe covers can be picked up at Home Depot or again everything is on my Amazon storefront. Um, but don't cheap out on that kind of stuff because customers will notice, okay? Another thing is, again, I understand everybody has a different situation, but try your best not to go into somebody's home with homemade products, with products that are not labeled properly, that don't actually show what the ingredients are, because that's not professional. And if something were to happen with those chemicals, you don't want to be liable for, you know, something happening. I can't imagine what would happen, but you wanna make sure to just go in as professional as you can. Once you have your cleaning techniques down and you know what works for you, then I would go ahead and move forward with teaching your employees. Now, if you have W2 employees like I have had in the past, you are going to wanna to teach them to clean exactly the same and using the same checklist. That way they never miss out on an item from that checklist and that way they're not re-cleaning anything. As I mentioned, doing the high dusting last. Another thing that I had wanted to mention is that you can always personalize your cleaning experience to your cleaning business, right? There is no proper or right way to do anything in residential cleaning. For example, I include windows in my house cleanings. They're not very detailed in every clean though. They are included, others don't for whatever reason it is. Some people include the, the oven in the fridge for every deep clean. We don't, we have our reasons. So it's your business, tailor it to how you like and you will learn as you go. But again, to learn how to clean as much professionally is much different than cleaning your home. I hope you guys have a fantastic experience cleaning. Again, I have a ton of videos for you to watch on my channel of me cleaning and the different types of products. And I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. I know I also have some viewers that don't own a cleaning company and you just wanna know how to clean your house more efficiently and effectively. So if you guys are out there watching these videos, let me know how these techniques have worked or if you've implemented them in your home life or in your business. And I will talk to you in this next video. I really appreciate all of the support. Please go hit that subscribe, like, notification button. And of course, go ahead and check out my members only community where I have members only videos. We do lives during the week. We have um, some discounts for you guys and we're always building and adding more to that YouTube community. Until next time, cleaning family.